Brawlhalla just announced a handful of fantastic features coming into the very next patch, starting with their new rank. If you make it into the top 150 of your region and you have over 100 games played, you'll clock into Valhallen, which features two sets of unique avatar, border, and title rewards. One if you retain that top 150 rank, and one if you hit it once but don't make it there again. This means that pushing into Valhallen gives you a prize regardless of if you stay there for the multiple month season, which is great to give a much wider range of players an incentive to go for it. Along with this are ELO calculation adjustments for the higher ranges, with the goal of creating better matches more easily without affecting the lower range's quick cues. Apparently they're trying to make it closer to the chess ELO system? I don't really know what that means. I got checkmated by a 4 year old in Central Park, but... This, it sounds cool. Additionally, all players will now have 10 ranked placement matches, both when they first play ranked and at the start of every season at the location of their ELO reset. This is great because currently brand new players will start in silver, which is likely way too high, and then immediately quit the game as a result. Or people will come back after an extended break and be soft reset into something close to their personal best and not really fit for where they're currently at, which is very rusty. This will hopefully make the ranked experience better for everyone and feel more like climbing up a ladder from ground level rather than being kicked off a cliff and pulled to find your way back up on your own. Not, not for me, but my friend said that. Next up for a big Chongo change is training mode in queue. It's not only real, it's arriving next official patch. All matchmaking game modes will have training mode fully available while waiting, with the only exception being if you have multiple keyboards or controllers, because if you have rewinding time modes and frame viewer with more than one player, it breaks the engine and space time or something like that. I don't know the details, but that's what I've been told. Also, Experimental is going to have a rematch system like Rank 2, which is great for faster queues. Performance updates, especially aimed at EAC, the anti-cheat that starts when you open the game, and Framefix, the native special K that people talk about, it just makes the game run a little bit better hopefully, uh, they're both coming, and they're continuously being worked on. Personally, I felt a lot better than before with EAC after the adjustments they made this patch, so I you know, could just keep getting better with time, that's what I'm hoping for. Still a ways to go, but it's good that they're working on it, and it's great that that work is showing progress, because I'm sure it's not easy. They're also launching a tool that lets you see your own personal latency, which can help if you're testing around different settings with your hardware or your software or mal malware? They're probably not that one. I I'm very glad they're taking EAC and Framefix seriously because those are legitimate game changers if they're working as intended, especially Framefix. Finally, they've announced a beefed up return of Battle Pass Season 1. In between this current pass and the next one, they'll be running what's called Battle Pass Classic, which has refreshed missions and new rewards. Everyone will be able to access the free track, and anyone who bought the premium one will not have to buy it again. They'll have full access and their full progress maintained from when it ran in the past, as well as the ability to get the new stuff. This is something Brahalla frequently does, they allow new people who weren't playing when something was out before have a last chance to grab it again, and give the people that did have it before a little something bonus, which is generally just a net positive. I think this only gets into the scary destabilized the economy territory if you have the ability to trade like TF2 hats or CSGO skins, but at the moment you can't unless you're Jeffrey Robertson. Overall, it's a great patch and it's a great stream. Game dev life can be absolute hell, so if you could send out a kind word to Blue Mountain or at the very least refrain from just making someone else's day worse it's probably worth it i was thinking about this pugsy tweet it's kind of crazy he's reaching levels of based i cannot comprehend but mine is the aggression I, I agree i think if there's a good takeaway here it's that proper communication in the proper channels from everyone involved that means me that means you that means the devs makes things better for all of us i see this very frequently on youtube with the masses if you attach yourself to a group just to trash on things it is an easy way to comparatively feel good about yourself but it's not only outwardly destructive, it's not really fulfilling. It doesn't bring lasting joy. If you are part of the Brahalla community, don't prey upon its downfall under the guise of wanting what's best, because to any eye that's not your own, it just looks like you're going goblin mode, and that's not fun to be around. I didn't catch a release date for this patch, maybe they said it and I just missed it, let me know. It's 6.11, but we just had an update, so it might be a little bit. Either way, I think it's worth the wait. I've got a bingus Brahalla video essay in the works anyway, so the more time they give me for that, the better. I started streaming again recently. Check out the VODs channel if you can't watch it live. Make the red button below go gray. I, I haven't done a proper outro in months. I'm lost. Please find me.